Okay, here I am walking on the uh, back roads of Tennessee um, near the river. Not really any traffic as you can see. It's all uh, pretty cool. Been alone now for like 20 minutes, haven't seen a soul. It's pretty cool. It's so humid here that my hair has turned wet. It's gross. I'm sweating profusely. And a plane's flying overhead. It's amazing that uh, there's miles and miles of waterway here with rivers. And there's uh, these, I guess they call them green belts, where you have walks along the river, miles and miles of them. And it's all very, very natural foresty kind of uh, area and uh, you wouldn't even know you're in the city until a plane flies over or you hear a siren in the distance. <laughs> Anyways it is uh, beautiful here and uh, today is I guess May 17th or 18th. I'm on a staycation so I don't know how long or what's going on. Anyways I'm getting it together and just wanted to let everybody know I'm fine. I'm alive. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy your Monday. I am. Aloha. Hey guys, welcome back to the Joey Show Nashville. This is episode 73. Um, that clip you just saw at the beginning was actually five years ago, May. And I've been here for five years. It's crazy. I had no idea that I'd be here this long. So anyways, I'm going to run some clips now of some of my uh, auditions from way back when. So hopefully you guys find some sort of amusement. You can laugh at me and... We'll see what happens. Hopefully you're all doing well. And I look forward to uh... all rise for the Honorable Judge Goner. Welcome to the Council on Foreign Relations and this very special event, Crossing Borders, the way forward. Putting aside the very real moral question, how is shutting down the borders even feasible? I hear you, Marcel. I got some of my best people out there looking to find that serial killer. But investigations take time. You've had time. We need tourists back in the city now. What more do you expect me to do? Wave my magic wand? I'm trying, okay? But the killer's not leaving any clues. Then get out there with your best people and solve it. We clear. We clear. I'm on it. Don't worry. We'll get the guy. I'm sorry, Mrs. Powell. But I'm afraid Adrian will never walk again. What? Are you certain? It's been six months with no progress. There was tingling in his toes. What about the tingling? Phantom pain. With the loss of mobility to the limbs. The body. You listen to me. Adrian will walk again. He has to. There must be specialists. Experimental surgeries. I'll fly him to Haiti. I hear they're doing wonderful things with voodoo now. Mrs. Powell. I'm sorry, but there's simply no hope. I know it's hard, but try to stay positive. Besides his legs, Adrian's healthy. You should have a long, long life together. I had nothing to do with it. Sophie, I swear. That girl's missing, but I didn't do it. You've been acting strange again, drinking, keeping wild hours out in the workroom. All of a sudden, you're a different man, a man I don't like. Honey, you know you changed me. 
I'm not that man I used to be. I left that all behind. I'm really stressed out right now. We got that big project going on at work. And now, with the whole thing with Davy. Do you swear? You can tell me. I can take it. Maybe something happened that was an accident. Damn it, Sophie! I told you, I don't know where that girl is, but good riddance. She broke our son's heart. That is what you should be focusing on. I don't want to hear another word from you on this subject. Am I clear? And a 1.6 megaton RDS-37 thermonuclear warhead drops down in the middle of Des Moines. Speculation is dangerous in our line of work, General. Inaction is dangerous. The fact is, the Russians have a spy satellite lapping the planet, taking pictures of God knows what. The president is demanding an immediate response. No more delays. Alan Shepard flies first. May 5th. Do the math. That's two months. Get us up there, Mr. Harrison. What's the point in a space program that doesn't put anything into space? Hey, is this the line to get in the Hamilton Lottery? I don't know. Is this the line for Hamilton Lottery? There will be no doubt that you will find the defendant guilty as charged. Is this the line for the Hamilton Lottery? Hey, is this the line for the Hamilton Lottery? There are five individuals in the hospital, as well as one six-year-old child. The defendant should be punished to the utmost extent. You will find my client not guilty for one reason and one reason only. She was running late and had tickets to Hamilton. You, you had Hamilton tickets? We don't have to deliberate. Not guilty. How did you get Hamilton tickets? No, this is the line to get into heaven, man. <sighs> You are beautiful. And you are unpredictable. You're cautious, Beth. And you are cunning. But you know something? You're not strong. I don't think you're really very giving. Tell me something. Do you love me? Do you really love me? We would have been alright if there hadn't have been any mess. But you can't handle mess. You need everything neat and easy. I don't know, maybe you can't love anyone with so much Buck. When Buck died, it's as if you buried your love with him. I don't understand that. I, I just don't know. Maybe, maybe it wasn't even Buck. Maybe it was you. Maybe, finally, it was the best of you that you buried. But whatever it was, I don't know you anymore. And I don't know what it is we've been playing at. So, I was crying. Because... I don't think I love you anymore, and I don't know what I'm going to do without that. Anyways, hopefully you're having a great whatever, and hopefully you're not taking this, uh, what do you call it, quarantined too badly. Hopefully we're all getting through this. 
hopefully and hopefully it's just another month at the most so hang in there guys hopefully uh hopefully 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 if you get a chance uh please hit that subscribe button and i'm going to keep making videos no matter how boring they are because at least it's something right it's fresh it's new it's old it's what it is talk to you later aloha